Hi there, and welcome to another edition of the 1% Better Podcast with your host, Rob O'Donoghue. Hello there, and welcome to episode one of season two of the 1% Better Podcast. Welcome back to those that have listened in the past, and welcome to those that are here for the first time. It's genuinely great to have you as a listener. So this episode is just an introduction show of what's to come in season two, and I'll talk about some other new stuff that have been added and other bits and pieces that's been going on since the, the last full episode that I put out. So as I record this one, I have over 12 shows for season two already done and dusted and also have another bunch lined up to record over the next few weeks. And I'll be releasing those on a weekly basis like I did in season one. I honestly have to say some of the stories that I have from the guests have been brilliant. I'm really looking forward to putting them out there. I launched season one just over 12 months ago. It was early March 2017 and I have to say I learned so much about this whole podcasting game since then. I've learned a fair bit about myself as well. This time last year I wasn't aware of the term imposter syndrome but over the last number of months it's something that's become quite popular. I did an article about that last year overcoming it and I see more and more people writing about it and breaking through which is absolutely great. For me it's still there and even putting together season two is a battle with the old imposter syndrome but i'm releasing this and i have another bunch to come and i'm winning that battle so if you're facing your own fears around that first tip push through go for it and do it so over the next 21 to 2 minutes i'm going to talk you through some of the things that have changed and some new things that have been added and some hopes and plans and ambitions for the coming season So the first thing is around the podcast host that I've changed. So this time last year when I launched, I had not much of a clue which way to go when it comes to hosting podcasts. I went with SoundCloud. At the time, it was pretty straightforward to set it up. It was relatively cheap and it was all I needed for what I knew of at the time. As season one developed and evolved, I started to see a number of limitations with the platform. When you signed up, maybe back in March, April or whenever last year, you may have downloaded a SoundCloud app to listen to the podcast through. And that's something that I think was an extra pain for some people. Over the course of last year also, I heard a lot of rumors about SoundCloud in that they may go to the wall, that they may go bust. And that certainly gave me concerns hosting in the future with the service. It also had limitations around being able to release more than one show. I also had a an interest in potentially doing some kind of live podcasting last year. That was not something that SoundCloud offered. So I did my research in the off-season and I have now moved the hosting over to a service provider called Spreaker. So that's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R dot com. And all the podcasts going forward will be hosted on Spreaker under the Rob of the Green moniker or title. So go to Spreaker.com, follow the show there, follow Rob of the Green, add it to your favorites, and then you should be able to get all the new episodes and back catalog from there. If you subscribe to iTunes, I'm pretty sure you'll still get this episode and and subsequent ones released as you were last year that would come down automatically if not definitely let me know and get in touch you may just need to do an unsubscribe and resubscribe to rejuvenate that but i'm pretty sure it should be seamless and automatic so spreaker is the way to go from now on for the one percent better podcast and other shows that come up as i said spreaker offer a live show and that's something i would love to experiment with at some point in the next number of weeks so if you have an idea for a topic that we would like to do on a live format let me know that's something i can make happen what i would like to probably do is get back a, a guest that i had in season one or one of the first few of season two and we do a Q&A session on the live show, which would allow folks that are following me through Spreaker to submit questions or ask for some insight from, from the guests. So if there's an opportunity to do that. That's just something new I'd like to add in season two that I certainly wasn't able to do in season one or probably had the confidence to do it. OK, so second update is around the website. 
12 months ago i wasn't much of a wordpress guru i am still not much of a wordpress guru 12 months on but it has made some steps forward the website and it's taken a little bit better of a shape some new things added i've added a book page so one of the things i've been doing with guests over season one and continue to do season two is ask a question around a book recommendation now i'm going to put those all on one page where you can look scan down through to see what books were recommended from previous episodes and click through on the book to amazon and purchase it if you should so wish another thing that's growing on the website is the blog page while i'll continue to post some blogs there or articles on a monthly basis over the coming season or as frequently as i possibly can with the time constraints that i'm under that's an area i'd love to see grow with your input so if you have an article that you'd like to submit falling under the one percent better theme or ethos i would love to put that article up there so feel free to get in touch you can drop me an email through one of the links and we can arrange that to be published the next one is the newsletter so about halfway through season one i decided maybe i should add a newsletter or email notification service to to the site again something that should have had from the start but it was learning as i go and added email notification service which now has around 900 subscribers on the mailing list which is brilliant delighted to have so many signed up what i plan to do and continue to do over season two is around every episode release uh, an email notification to give folks an update that there's a new episode out and i also would like to post some content around anything else going on that week in the world of rob of the green so if you haven't already signed up please do so there's a link on the home page to do that i mentioned socials so the social network around the podcast around rob of the green is continuing to grow again halfway through last season i maybe it was towards the end of 2017 actually i set up a one percent better community on facebook and that has over 420 or 30 members at the moment i think that's hasn't really taken off yet and there's lots of opportunity for folks to collaborate and communicate with each other through that group again all about communication with each other i'd really appreciate folks getting more involved there obviously the twitter account is still there the facebook page is there i'm on instagram not sure how well that works but i normally post a, a picture up for a new episode and i'm on linkedin my personal rob o'donoghue account on linkedin is there and i normally post an update when a new episode comes out through the website on linkedin as well so lots of ways to get in touch but the main addition is the one percent better community so please do get in touch through that so the next major update i guess is around support so what i've decided to do here is talk about this in two ways so the first way is me helping you so the podcast is the one way that i'm hopefully helping others improve and that's how i try to support every listener by putting out good content that can help you take something on board apply a new tool or practice that makes you that little bit better the cautionary tale here is there's no overnight success it's all about gradual small steps of improvement that's what the guests typically talk about as well and hopefully the insights you get from them has done something positive in season one i also like to share the odd solo podcast that hopefully can bring you some insight the one i did last year around 11 steps of productivity improvement has got a lot of good feedback and i'd like to continue to do that one other area that i'd like to experiment with this year is through offering some free pro bono coaching one-to-one -one coaching with some of the listeners or maybe somebody that you know that could do with it now it has to be pro bono in that i'm not charging anyone for this i will dedicate a small number of hours a month to this it's obviously not for everybody it's for folks that realistically cannot afford it themselves that are potentially out of work that have a challenge in their own life that they would like to discuss and work with me on to try and help them improve or overcome that so maybe it's about a changing career that they're out of work looking to get back into the workplace maybe it's about a block that they have in their own life to get out of a circumstance or a situation that they're in i don't know it can be anything really but the key thing here is the person needs help and they want the help it's not just something that they're doing out of an obligation 
and again this is an experiment i have no idea what sort of interest there will be and i obviously only can dedicate a very small amount of time on this per month because the amount of time i dedicate and putting the podcast together outside of my own day-to-day job is taking up lots of time but i love doing it and i hope this is another area where i could potentially help folks so there's a button on the support page that says coaching click on that it'll just generate an email form that you can get in touch and let me know and over time i'll i'll give updates on how it's going certainly it's all confidential there's going to be no sharing of anything that's been uh, talked about with any specific person but i will keep people up to date on how well that's going and it's just another way hopefully that i can uh, help give something back so that's the me helping you side of the uh, support the flip side is how folks that love the show that like what i'm doing can help it grow and get better so if you're enjoying what you're hearing and would like to contribute i have set up a patreon.com site that allows you to make a donation to help the show grow and improve and it is a very popular way for podcasters or other folks that are creating stuff content be it written or audio or video it allows their followers or listeners to donate and help the show the work they're doing grow and evolve the one thing about patreon is the ability to put extra content behind that so what i'm doing is for anyone that does sign up that wants to donate they will get exclusive access to some shows some podcasts that i'm putting together just for folks that subscribe i've just recently added some content to the patreon site that's uh, in the form of an article and a short solo podcast around core values that anyone that does subscribe will get access to and my goal would be to every month add some content that only folks that subscribe get the ability to hear and read And while the podcast, The 1% Better Show, will remain absolutely free, the Patreon is an option for folks that if they're really enjoying what they're hearing, they can hear a little bit more and also contribute. But my promise is that everything that comes through, the Patreon option, goes directly back into the show. So that's just one way you can help and support the show grow and develop and the whole Rob of the Green idea take more traction another is a much simpler way it is through the amazon affiliates program so if you click on the amazon button on the support page or if you click on the books that are on the books page it'll bring you to the amazon site as normal if you make any purchases there be it the book or anything else it will make a tiny donation back to the show this is only new i haven't really tried it out yet so i'm just seeing what will happen as i said i have no idea how that will work or what will come true i'll certainly update as it grows or as it doesn't but it's just another option and a simple one that i see others doing so i said why not give it a go myself so that's the two ways the new ways that you could potentially help the show grow over time okay one other thing that i would like to do over the next number of weeks and months is to organize giveaways or competitions for listeners so last year i did a couple just based on likes and followers on facebook this year i'm hoping to do something a little bit different or a little bit more substantial hopefully by releasing episodes if i can connect with businesses or companies that would like to sponsor the show or donate a prize or anything really that they'd like to give to a potential listener i would be delighted to do that this is something again just an idea may not go anywhere but if you know of any organizations businesses or anything like that that would like to give away something through the show i would be happy to do that and offer out some prices to listeners something different let's see where it goes and finally to the most important part it's the podcast and the interviews of the one percent better show and i'm really looking forward to releasing the first interview next week i've been recording since january as i said and wanted to get a good number under the belt before i started to roll these out and over the weeks i may roll out one sometimes two it's always important to have a good backlog and i'm excited to share those so the first up will be johnny holland he's the ex-monster fly half 
and back in january we had a great chat about his career unfortunately johnny had to retire at the age of 25 but we go into details around his new venture in the areas of nutrition it's a really good show and here's just a little clip of johnny talking about his 13 months on the sidelines and rehabilitation that went with that and how he grew and developed i would i wouldn't have come back to be the player i was if i didn't get injured i don't think Mm -hmm. and that's uh you know, you can become that player in, in 13 months. Like I did a 13-month rehab. I could have become that player if I just worked really hard on my game for 13 months as opposed to have to sit it out. Yeah. But I just think some of the stuff I had to do to get back and the mentality I had to get um, to get through that kind of stuff, I, I, I just feel I kind of grew as a person and as a player and as a professional as well, you know. The following week, I will be releasing a show with emma o'toole so emma runs her own yoga business that's yoga with emma.ie she's also a type 1 diabetic and has been so for the last 30 years myself as a type 1 diabetic i was fascinated about the story and was really keen to share that with the audience type 1 diabetes is can be a killer and it's something that probably goes a little bit under the radar some people have a stigma around it i'm not sure why type one is not something you can really control and i really wanted to talk with emma and share her story how she's dealt with it how she's grown and developed over the years and how she now uses yoga and fitness to manage it and helps other people do so as well here's a little clip from the episode with emma my sugar level was up I think it's, there's a record here. Sugar level is 87.5. Um, now, the ranges are usually between 5 and 8. Mine was 87. <laughs> wow. So it was practically radioactive. Jesus. Um, or it's just the smell of acetone. And, and did, I was in a yeah, coma well, for, for three days. Wow. Like, so was that, a, was that a controlled coma you were in or was it? No. Oh, no, okay. That was, no, that was a diabetic coma because my sugar level was so high. Yeah. Um, they gave me IV insulin. They gave me four IV insulins and they gave me six hours in order to get my sugar level down from 87 to 42 Jeez. to see how my body would react to the absorption of insulin because I was deprived of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now, thankfully, that happened, and I came out of it, and I was in ICU, and that's when my whole life completely changed. Um, this new lifestyle of mine, which I still lead today, sure. is that I'm diabetic. And the week after, in the queue, I have a really interesting episode with Josh Quigley. So Josh is from Scotland. He rose to prominence a few years ago when he attempted to do a cycle around the world to raise awareness for mental health. On the show, he talks about a suicide attempt in 2015 and how, as a result of that, everything changed for him. It's a really great story. He does a lot of great work right now in the area of mental health and helping others overcome depression. Here's a small little clip from the episode. But anyway, I was suffering quite intensely with depression was feeling very suicidal for a period of about six months. This was the beginning of 2015, between January and May that year. And as I said, feeling suicidal a lot, just always had this idea, I want to end my life, I want to end my life. But to be honest, just never really had the, what I would call the courage to go through with it because I was quite scared actually of the perceived pain of ending my own life. I've always said that if I had a way of doing it pain-free, there's not a chance I would be alive in this day. There's not a chance of that. So that's just three that's coming up over the next few weeks. Some of the others that I have recorded with include Olive Lochnan, who is a world champion, gold medalist for The Walk. I have an excellent episode recorded with ex Erlingus CEO Dermot Mannion, which we recorded a few weeks back, and we talk about coaching, the importance of listening, and the challenges of being in the public eye that's just two more as an example i have another bunch that i won't call all out here today but just to give you a sample of what's coming lots of really good shows i've talked a little bit about experiments and things i hope to do over the coming year i think for me to continually grow and develop i want to try out new things one was the 
other show that i'm hoping to release you're probably thinking well i'm thinking every time i talk about this is where the hell am i going to get a time to do all this i'm going to give it a lash the other show is only going to be around 15 minutes long it's going to be more targeted on a set of topics or that would help you improve it's like a bite-sized one percent better show i have a few guests lined up for recording on that over the next few weeks and hopefully we'll launch it once season two is up and running probably sometime in april or may that should be interesting and i'm looking forward to seeing how that goes down also talking about the live shows through spreaker i'd like to do some facebook live video shows as well maybe kind of combine those two together again have never done this so not sure how it's going to go but it's something i would like to play with maybe drop me some lines and ideas through the one percent better community on facebook to give me some suggestions there and let's see what happens so that's pretty much it guys this is the first episode hopefully it gave you a good sense of what's coming it came out on a friday the 16th of march i'm looking to probably release the new episodes every week on a thursday or friday i'm going to switch from the monday release schedule for the moment and release the one percent better shows on a thursday or friday probably thursday the second show that i would release not sure yet maybe on a monday the shorter 15 minute show on a monday might be good i hope this intro show gave you an insight of what's coming personally 2017 was a major year for me in my life i really enjoyed everything i did in relation to the podcast i learned so much put myself out there pushed myself outside my comfort zone to be tweeting on a regular basis was something i wasn't familiar or enjoyed in the past and making lots of new connections on twitter and learning from each and every one has been fun so the lesson for me is just to keep pushing it out there this is not about me this is about trying to share ideas insights learnings from others with you to help everybody that gets involved in this learn and improve and grow i'm really excited to kick this off i've probably mentioned that 20 times during this episode so i maybe should edit it out a little bit i would like to just genuinely thank you for taking the time to listen i know there's lots of podcasts out there and the fact that you're taking out some time to listen to this one means a lot to me and i would like to leave the show by saying thank yourself for making the time to listen it shows that you're interested in learning and improving and have the drive to get that little bit better even if it's just one percent at a time so thanks so much i hope you have a great day and good luck